Today's generation of students are facing challenges unlike any other generation. Biodiversity loss, climate change, food security, energy independence, water rights, uh, those are all becoming existential threats. They are real existential threats for the coming century. And in that capacity, the University of Guam uh, serves a critical role, I believe, in developing a environmentally, scientifically literate community. And so the students that we're hoping to develop will have the tools to be able to address the coming challenges of this century. CNAS was created in July of 2004 when the UOG president, Harold Allen, combined the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences with the science program from the former College of Arts and Sciences. We then became the STEM College, which not only supports our undergraduate majors, but provides the four classes for nursing and health science and the background classes for our engineering majors. Our university and our programs here in CNAS um, serve the region. Um, we don't view ourselves just as sort of serving the local community, but we really do endeavor to be a resource for the other islands in, uh, in Micronesia and beyond. Afadeya, my name is Carmen Gogui. I am a senior in the Army ROTC program here at the University of Guam. I'm a communications major and I'm also a military science minor. The Army ROTC program has helped me with really improving my public speaking skills, uh, improving my time management, as well as uh, honing in and toning my leadership qualities and uh, attributes. As an officer, you're gonna be in front of soldiers. You need to be able to talk to them, be able to take care of them and understand them and how each soldier works. So it's very good on networking and then being able to understand and use your people skills. So UOG ROTC is like a family. The people you meet, your peers, the cadre, they're always gonna be there for you even after you graduate. Uh, our UOG alumni is very connected, so there will always be a UOG grad that will be willing to help you, guide you, and lead you onto a great path for uh, becoming an Army officer. Hello and half a day. My name is Katrina Kinata. I serve as both a math instructor at the College of Natural and Applied Sciences as well as their academic advisor, primarily for the freshmen and sophomores. One of the beautiful things about the math program here at CNAS at the University of Guam is that it opens a variety of doors. Um, additionally, it is one of the key pillars for higher education. We work with the School of Education here at the University of Guam to prepare our math students at the undergraduate and graduate level uh, so they can teach these math courses at both the public and private school systems. Having math as an undergraduate degree helps set up students for future opportunities in a variety of STEM fields like engineering, computer science, or further science in general. One of the biggest achievements have been in our biology, chemistry, and biochemistry dual degree programs. As other university-wide enrollments have shown a decline numbers of major and credit hour production, we in biochemistry and biochemical numbers are absolutely exploding. Never before have we seen such a surplus in undergraduate students getting into top-notch universities in the medical, dental, and pharmacy schools. We're also very proud of our students who have gone straight into the master's and PhD programs at top universities in the United States. We've seen sort of an unprecedented growth in the number of students and also the number of faculty in our programs over the last 10 years. And so to that extent, I think that we have the capacity to engage in really cutting edge research. I think that, that there are a lot of questions that our faculty and our students are well poised to address in the coming years. CNAS is the pillar college for most of the land grant activities at the University of Guam, receiving nearly $2 million of capacity funds from USDA. When one thinks of land grant, one should envision activities in food production, nutrition, youth, and improving the lives of the communities we serve. Hi, my name is Natasha Higgins. I graduated from the University of Guam in 2019, and I graduated with a degree in biology. So when I first got into the bio program, I decided I wanted to do something in marine biology. But halfway through my program, I actually decided that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I still wanted to stay within the sciences, but I actually wanted to switch to veterinary medicine. 
So I've been working in veterinary medicine for about four years as a vet tech. So the skills that I learned in especially biolab, that really helped me because not a lot of people have those same skills that I got from UOG. So it has really helped me bring a lot to the team that they otherwise wouldn't have had. Our programs have tried to incorporate research experiences throughout the curriculum. Um, we've also tried to promote our students to um, participate in local as well as off-island research experiences. Um, we have programs such as the EBSCOR and the LSAM programs that also provide funding for students to engage in research internships. And so overall, we hope that by providing um, research experiences early and often, that this creates basically research-ready students when they graduate from our degree programs. I've been able to work with sea turtles, manta rays, sharks. There's so many opportunities here that a lot of people aren't aware of. Um, and they think just because we're from a small island, you won't get the same kind of opportunities that you would in the States, but that's definitely not the case. Um, there's a lot of things that I've done here on Guam that I wouldn't have been able to do if I moved. One thing that the pandemic has done is it sort of squarely focused science and brought sort of the importance of scientific research uh, into the forefront. I think that people have come to appreciate basically the role of research and its capacity to improve the human condition. So perhaps now more than ever, I'm hoping that people will value science and understand sort of its, uh, you know, the potential that it brings to improve our society. The vision of CNAS is to be able to be relevant in an ever-changing world.